Vancouver's COVID back to school plan implemented in September is getting a failing grade. My child has gone from an outgoing, joyous, happy 13 year old to a sullen, depressed, anxious, socially isolated, vulnerable teen. Parents of high school students across the district are upset. For my daughter, she's in eighth grade. There's certainly an impact to her education. The reason why? The VSB is only providing 105 minutes of instruction per day. That is it. That's one third of the teaching hours required by BC School Act. They claim to provide remote instruction, but they do not require teachers to provide any actual instruction during the remote block. Neighboring school districts provide double or even triple the VSB's teacher time. Vancouver grades 8 through 12 get 8.75 hours a week of in-person instruction. In Burnaby, North Vancouver and Surrey, grades 8 and 9 are in class full time. And the senior grades get a mix of in-person and remote instruction for approximately 18 hours in Burnaby and North Van and 22 hours in Surrey. The problem is going to be whenever these kids get compared to other children who have had the privilege of being in school full time. In all of the surrounding districts around Vancouver, how will these kids be prepared for universities? BC's education minister shares the parents' concerns and has met with the VSB. Jennifer Whiteside says she expects Vancouver to adhere to laws and come up with a way to deliver appropriate instruction. Parents believe a fear of COVID transmission is behind the VSB strategy. I'm not telling them to go and put children back in classrooms 5.5 hours a day. They could put children back in class in person more. They also could require schools and teachers to provide real remote instruction. Live streamed videos, um, actual lessons with a teacher present. The Vancouver School Board maintains its plan was approved by the Ministry of Education. That said, right now it's evaluating the system to see if it needs improvement. The board says it has talked to students, their families and staff and looked at student attendance and achievement. The outcome of the assessment will determine what happens next. Parents aren't happy to wait. They say their children need more access to education now and want an immediate solution. Bell Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.